Hello my crafty friends! Today I am sharing another pop-up card using products from Karen Berniston. I've combined some of the new release with some of the previously released items and this is the card I came up with. So folded my card is 5 by 7 inches, fits in an A7 envelope for mailing or a 5 by 7 inch envelope and look at how flat it folds down. And that is amazing because inside there's a lot of lift and movement to that pop-up. So my card today started with this pattern paper I've been having a lot of fun with. It is the Doodlebug 12 by 12 patterned paper called Love Notes. There are coordinating stickers and I also purchased the odds and ends which are the embellishments that I used. They're not chipboard but they're die cut pieces all in the same theme and all in the colors to match and I liked the mailbox on the front with the mail themed embellishments. So that is where that came from. I have a video coming up showing how I use some 12 by 12 striped papers. So that is a strip of that paper there. And the mailbox is from the new mailbox pop-up, which is available for shipping now. So that is a new release from Karen Berniston. And there is a die that cuts a whole bunch of little hearts at one time. So I just die cut, it, ran it through several times out of red cardstock and put them all in a little triangle studio Katya tray. So I've got all kinds of little hearts to add as embellishments. The clouds were also in the Doodlebug Love Note embellishment package. And then the hello is Karen Berniston's hello with shadow. And I think it's funny we've waited so long to have shadows and I didn't use the shadow on this one. But it's a nice script font and there is a stencil feature or emboss feature that you could run it through with an embossing pad and have embossed stitch lines or you could stencil them on. So the mailbox is from that. Now the mailbox does feature a stamp and die technology. So I inked up the die with brown ink, ran it through my machine on craft cardstock and you see I got this lovely wood grain. So it embosses it and it stamps it at the same time. So I really like that idea. And that final little stitched heart there is from the new Hearts Cross Hatch. And I did use them inside as well. So the pop-up mechanism inside, that is the new Hearts Collage pop-up. And it comes with all of these expanding hearts and layered hearts that you can add. And there are also two add-ons. So the Heart Collage pop-up gives you the mechanism as well as all the expanding hearts. And then there is a butterfly collage add-on where you would add the, butterf the expanding butterflies to the mechanism from the heart collage. And there's also balloons. I haven't even played with the balloons yet, but that's kind of next on my list. So it is just a white card base. If this is not a very fancy card. It did not take long to put together. I wanted to show you that not all pop-up cards need to be kind of over the top. And being on the design team, we like to show you lots of possibilities with these dies. So here is just another simple way that you can use the heart collage pop-up. You can see here, I use the crosshatch hearts and that's where we can sign our name. And the borders, they are my slim borders from scrapbook.com. There's such a great variety of different scallops on this and, and I get a lot of use out of it. I love border dies. So, and these ones work of course perfectly on a slimline card. Everything that is available is linked on my blog. So pretty much everything that I've used today, I have linked for you. If you enjoyed my card today, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And that's it for me today.